Please. Thank you, Presiding Officer. I'm sure it's just a coincidence that when Jackson Carlaw was reflecting on the, the weight and fitness of, of MSPs, my Fitbit was buzzing to tell me to get moving, so perhaps we need to be more mobile during debates. I too would like to join colleagues by paying thanks to Donald Cameron for bringing forward this motion to Parliament tonight. World Cancer Day, like this debate, will be an important opportunity to highlight the impact which cancer has on everyone's life in some way or another. As members of Parliament, we have a particular responsibility over the course of this parliamentary term to explore what decisions and actions can be taken here in Scotland to reduce the prevalence of cancer and the impact it has on people and communities. As we learn more about the causes of cancer, it is becoming easier for policymakers to identify possible actions that could be taken to prevent the onset of ill health. And the more evidence that is gathered, the more we can state with certainty that in so many cases, cancer and ill health more generally is the result of structured inequality and deprivation. And with that convincing and ever increasing body of evidence comes an increasing responsibility on us all, especially those in positions of power, to think about how we can work together to eradicate that inequality. Evidence from Cancer Research UK that four in 10 cancers are preventable is a shocking statistic. So 40% of cancers in Scotland are preventable. That would mean that almost 13,000 of the people who were diagnosed with cancer in Scotland last year could have been prevented from becoming ill. Colleagues have stated that obesity after smoking is the single biggest cause of preventable cancer in Scotland and has been linked to 13 different types of cancer. Cancer Research UK tells us that these include some of the most common cancers, including breast and bowel cancer. But despite this, only a quarter of Scottish adults are aware that being overweight can cause cancer. In the last few months, I've had my own personal experience of a cancer scare when I discovered a lump in my breast. After going to my doctor and being referred to the hospital breast clinic, I was lucky and relieved to be told that it was a cyst. I was lucky to get referred quickly and that it didn't turn out to be cancer. Due to the fantastic awareness raising campaigns of breast cancer charities here in Scotland, I had become more familiar during my early months here as an, an MSP with the importance of, of self-examination and also understanding prevention a lot better. So I have increased my activity levels. Um, I've got a Fitbit, I'm out walking even when it's raining. And you know, when I, when I heard uh, Alex Cole Hamilton on the radio this morning being grilled about politicians say one thing, but do they put it into practice? He did admit on live radio that some MSPs are a bit overweight, but I think it does make us all very conscious and self-conscious about our own behaviours. My experience and initial reluctance and, and fear about investigating what was wrong made me think twice about awareness raising and, and what more can be done to encourage people to not just have the confidence to, to get checked out early, but also to have the confidence to, to change behaviours and make different choices. Because we know that the earlier cancer is detected, the easier it is to treat. One of the things I want to say is, as I've watched the, the time running away is that to tackle some of these problems, we do need to have more joined up thinking across government. Um, I will put on record that I am a Charter Town Planner and member of the Royal Town Planning Institute, but one of the debates that we have tomorrow in Parliament is looking at the forthcoming planning bill, and there's a real opportunity to embed how we assess health and wellbeing into planning applications, because I think we've had in some of our briefings the impact about the environment around about us and how that affects our health. And our, and our choices. Presiding officer, tackling obesity is complex. It's not an easy task, but there are actions that can be taken that will help reduce the risks. And it's a responsibility in all the parties in the chamber to work constructively and attempt to address that. And I think from the tone of debate today, I think that commitment is there. Thank you very much.